Now before we get too far along inside of Dreamweaver, the first thing you need to do is create a site definition. This is going to give the system information about where on the internet you're going to be placing these files. Uh, if you're not going to have these connected to the internet, you can just create a basic site definition and but leave everything on your desktop or wherever your file storage is located. By creating a site definition, you're giving Dreamweaver access to your uh, publishing uh, server space so it can actually go and drop files off at the server. I'm going to be using Gemstream as my hosting provider. We've been with Gemstream for years and years and years, and there's actually a discount for all Digital Tutors customers as well as customers who've purchased uh, this training kit. So um, there'll be some extra little bonus lessons on this training kit that will walk you through how to actually set up your si uh, service with Gemstream and how to take advantage of the discount that they offer. All right, so in Dreamweaver, I'm going to go down to where it says Create New, and I'm going to choose this Dreamweaver Site button here. All right, this is going to bring me up to the site definition wizard. So I'm going to call this DT Gloss for the name of my website. And where it's going to be located is www.dtwebdesign.com slash www. Okay. Actually, I'm going to not put that on there. I'll talk about that in just a second. So this is actually a real website out there where we're going to post this work. All right, we'll hit next says I uh, no I do not want to use server technology if I had a cold fusion server running or um, in this instance I do have PHP running but we're not going to use it uh, ASP you could activate it and say whatever type of um, server technology you're using by doing that it will then activate syntax and special um, uh, codes for you alright this is very important how do you want to work I recommend that you work locally and then upload so that's the first option. The second option is you work directly on the server. Why isn't this not a good idea? Well, uh, if you're working directly on the server, then you may accidentally delete a file or overwrite a file and be kind of out of luck. Now, where would you want to work directly on the server? If you're working in a team. If you're working in a team environment, you want to work directly off of the server because Dreamweaver allows you to check out a file. So since we're not going to do that, um, you can now tell the system where do you want to store the files since we're going to choose local. If not, um, it would ask where the files are on your network. Okay, so I'm going to leave this at default. It's going to be dropped into my documents, a folder called uh, DT Gloss. I may make a folder called Sites. So it's called Sites and then DT Gloss. This way I can keep all of my websites in one directory. All right. Now it's going to ask, how do we connect to the network? Well, if it was a local network, if your server was in your building, you could just choose local network. But ours is not. Ours is FTP. So I'm going to come in here and say, all right, where is the FTP? It's going to be um, dtwebdesign.com. This is very important. What folder on the server do you want to store your files in? If you're using Gemstream as your server host, you need to put in www. Okay, because there's a number of different folders, and I'll show you what those are, but uh, the www folder is what was going to be shown to the public. Okay, uh, Papa is my login here. All right, I'll go ahead and hit test connection. Let's just verify that DT Web Design uh, and all my settings that I've set there are correct. And it's just going to go through and check that for us. All right, and once it's done that, it's going to say that it connected successfully. We'll hit Next. Now, this is very important. Do you want to enable check-in and check-out? If you're working by yourself, there's no need to activate this option. However, if you are working in a team environment, you're going to want to turn this option on. Okay, And for everybody that you have Dreamweaver 8 installed on, you're going to want to put in this information. Because what will happen is if I want to use a file, I can notify that person or I can find out who has the file that I need to work on. At this point, we're just going to say no and say since it's just us building the website, we're going to stick with just a simple um, file edit options. All right, here's a quick summary. Now, if you want some more information or you want to tweak things some more, you can go to the Advanced tab. And so it's already predefined a lot of this stuff for us. Okay, here's our, our FTP information. 
here's our testing server if we had a testing server we can say okay here's what my server model is going to look like and that's how I want it to access okay I can give it FTP access so maybe we send everything to one server for testing and then to the live server alright I do have cloaking enabled and cloaking will save you tons and tons of time here in just a little bit and I'll show you what those do design notes very important to have design notes and I'll show you what those do now your sitemap layout I currently don't have a sitemap yet because we don't have all of our files in but when we do I'll show you how you can use a sitemap to see where all your pages are linked and how they're all connected alright these are all this has to do with how you're viewing some of your reports um, and your files this is an option that I think you guys should really really look at especially if you bought the suite from Dreamweaver uh, from Macromedia or Adobe um, it has contribute with it now what is contribute that's gonna be a lesson on its own on how to use contribute with Macromedia uh, Dreamweaver 8 but using contribute and I will tell you this very quickly will allow anybody who works with you or your company to edit a web page without using Dreamweaver they just use contribute go to the web page edit save you can approve it and then it's good to go so I'm gonna show you how to use this in a later lesson and lastly um, this has an option to not overwrite the template uh, uh, relative paths inside of the do uh, template documents we're gonna use templates here in a little while so I don't want to even get started with uh, the confusion of getting templates mixed up with regular pages so at this point we'll say okay and you'll notice over here I have a new set of uh, p bits of information for me to look at uh, I have where it says DT gloss it's a folder set up it's it's a site that is registered with the uh, Macromedia uh, Dreamweaver 8 application I can go to manage sites here and I can see all of my sites if I had more than one okay at any time I can hit edit change any of those settings so that's kinda cool I can duplicate it I can uh, import or export all that information so uh, that's a great thing okay so what I'm gonna do is at this point we're gonna stop the lesson I'm gonna come back in the next lesson and I'm gonna talk about what uh, these different buttons do inside of your file palette and how we can go ahead and get one of our folders published to the internet